Tonight on a special e-talk, Canada's Walk of Fame turns 20. Anytime Canadians are represented in, in like global popular culture, it was exciting. And we're celebrating with the newest inductees. I think today is about our connection with our fans. Two decades recognizing the best in arts and entertainment. I have an enormous amount of gratitude. Science. I never intended to be here. Athletics. It's so Canadian. Philanthropy and business. Well, I feel very honored to be in a place like this today. Plus, remembering the legends. I grew up listening to him. 20 years, 182 stars. We're finally in a place in this country where it's okay to be proud. On the red carpet and backstage in our exclusive lounge. Not many people get to experience that with their best friend. That's so sweet. We are shining a spotlight on the class of 2018. Everyone deserves this more than we do. <laughs> this is eTalk Presents Canada's Walk of Fame. Hi everyone and welcome to a very special e-talk coming to you from the 2018 Canada's Walk of Fame Awards. I'm Ben Mulrooney. I'm Danielle Graham from comedian Seth Rogen to spaceman Chris Hadfield. The gang's all here. So many memorable moments backstage with the 2018 inductees are coming up, but first the stars get cemented in history. Nine more Canadians etched in stone. Seth and Evan, childhood best friends turned writer-producer duo, the guys behind some of this decade's most hilarious comedies. I genuinely didn't think this would happen no. ever. It feeds our egos, <laughs> which are fragile and need constant feeding. Tessa and Scott, three-time Olympic gold medalists, the most decorated ice dancers in history. It's so Canadian, and the way we've been embraced coast to coast, it's the perfect way to, to cap off 2018. Colonel Chris Hadfield, he does it all, but he's probably best known for his spacewalks and stint commanding the International Space Station. I'm really looking forward to, to seeing my star there. It just shouldn't be there for a guy like me. You know, it, it's, it's a delight. Andrea Martin, SCTV alum, Broadway star, actress, and comedic powerhouse. It means that I've had a lot of opportunities for many, many years in Canada and have an enormous amount of gratitude. Andy Kim. Musician and songwriter with over 30 million records sold, including the classic hit Sugar Sugar. The truth is I cried. I tried not no. to. When I got the phone call, I tried to hold it back. It's a great, great honor. Jimmy Pattison, entrepreneur, philanthropic great, and business mogul billionaire. Well, I just appreciate being included. I'm very happy to be here. The late, great Leonard Cohen, one of the country's most prolific singer-songwriters. What does it mean for you to honor a man like Leonard Cohen on a stage like this? I grew up listening to him. I have all his books of poetry, uh, so this is, it's a lovely tribute. We are humbled. He was uh, such a visionary and uh, has such an incredible body of work. And the incredible presenters and performers are all in to make the event even more special. I'm yeah. excited to be on stage with Divine. That's our first time yeah. collaborating. You present one year and then you get the star the next. Is that how it works? I think so. These are all people that have are woven into the fabric of what Canada is. These are all people we're proud of. So much magic and the fun continues in our exclusive backstage lounge. There's no one who makes us laugh quite like hilarious pals Seth and Evan. Congrats, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. How did that feel up there, getting this big honor? It was great. Yeah. Right? It wasn't as good as watching the Leonard Cohen performances after Pretty that. Much. Or Catherine O'Hara, oh, or the astronaut, or the figure. <laughs> Basically, the whole time we were sitting yeah. there whispering, this, we like, everyone deserves this more than we yeah. do. <laughs> we couldn't be more psyched that a couple of hometown hosers like us are getting this honor from the Canadian Walk of Fame, huh? In true Seth and Evan fashion, they turned their acceptance speech into a stand-up comedy routine, and it's 100% pure Canadian. And then all we were thinking is we should have done something sincere. And then by the time we got to us, we were like, thank God, thank God we, we didn't did. do anything yeah, sincere. We, we love our country. We're as happy as two beavers camped up the Fraser River who just finished their dam and they're joyously slapping their tails together. As they do. And not compete with that level of sincerity. It's yeah. just like, oh, that guy went to space. Yeah. <laughs> they're the most decorated skaters of all time. <laughs> we write talking hot dog movies. Is it all the more better to share this with each other and to have this moment together? It is. Yeah. yeah. 
be super I mean, weird if only was one of us got hit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would Wildly probably cause the first to, like, real yeah. division in our team. That really would be a bummer. It's pretty much like we both just got our double doubles, simultaneously rolled up our rims, and both won. Stereotypes aside, Seth admits they really believe they have won. The truth is, like, every day we get to have the jobs that we wanted to have, and, like, it's it's never lost on us. So, like, as wonderful as things like this are, the fact that we get to make movies and express ourselves on a day-to-day -day basis, surrounded by our friends, is honestly, like, the greatest thing that we could ever want. And as it turns out, we should be honored they even accepted. Yeah, I have been offered the opportunity like, to yeah. purchase a star of the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I'll hook you up. I believe people pay for their stars yes, in they LA. Do, they do, yeah. I declined That's the Hollywood gonna be, I'm gonna get it every 40th birthday. In favor of a Canadian one. <laughs> the only downside? Having to deal with inclement weather. Were you gonna take care of that or hire someone? We're gonna. I yeah. expect people to vandalize our stars. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alex Lifeson told me that Getty and he have the rush one done. Alex's mom cleans it. Really? Yeah. Oh that's, that's what insane. he said. He said with a straight face, so I wasn't going to challenge him on it. No, we should yeah. just call her up and be like, I know, you're, you're going to be there. I know. We should ask for ours to be next to Russia's. <laughs> <laughs> the guy from Russia's mom cleans our star. Yeah. <laughs> As for Tessa and Scott, so help are we us. supposed to clean it? Are we responsible for it? Well, I mean, I don't know who, who's the maintenance is bestowed to, but maybe like Ben you said, he would chime in. Yeah, yeah. Earlier, Ben's, yeah. Ben's a really good guy. Yeah, He's really good with all that kind of stuff, snow <laughs> removal and polishing and everything. He's your guy. This has been a hell of a year for you two. <laughs> I like that. Has it not? Oh, it has. It has. It's, I'm still like shaking and coming down from that. That was very exciting. We've stood on podiums around the world representing Canada but this might be your proudest moment yet. What were you feeling? Uh, incredible nerves, but really? also like a lot of emotion at the same time. It's probably why my heart's beating through my chest. I always thought I was a bit more of a skater than a talker, but here we go. Tearing up on stage, Scott lightens the moment. The Canada's Walk of Fame board members. We're confused, but extremely <laughs> grateful for this induction. And seems to go off script ever so slightly to show big love for his other half. I don't know if I deserve to be on the Walk of Fame, but I'm damn sure that you should be on the Walk of Fame. I'm so proud of that. I'm proud of you, too. <laughs> you're so eloquent and good in those moments. Oh, just... It's so nice to see that genuine reaction. We've had few moments to really stop and take stock of what's happened. So yeah. I think it's nice to be able to do that in front of Canada and with yeah. Canada. I think it makes it even more meaningful. I mean, not many people get to experience sure. that with their best friend. That's true. That's so sweet giving us all the feels. And it's their friend slash presenter, Max Herman, who sums up their dynamics so well. The, the thing you guys have together to is that you are the more slightly more like formal and you could like be leading a country. I'm the hype man. But you're the hype man. You're you're the hype man. Yeah. But this is it, you loosen her up too. So it's great, it's a perfect That's balance. balance. That's what yeah. you want. Performing at Canada House during the Pyeongchang Games, Max got to know the pair off ice. Every night, a lot of the Team Canada would go to karaoke bars or like really drink as much beer at the Canada House as humanly possible. And it was, that was a great time. It's very non-Olympic very quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course, that was after the most decorated skaters brought down the house with their gold medal moment. So you mentioned nerves and emotions. Where, where does that rank on the nerves and emotions of, say, the Olympics? Well, it's pretty high um, because <laughs> We're skaters, and yeah. we practiced that skating moment so many times. But I never did that in front of Colonel Chris Hadfield, um, and I think that's what was really going through my mind. Like, <laughs> but he was so reassuring with his warm smiles of support. Like Easily the best mustache in Canada. Yeah, oh, sure. it's majestic. Yeah. <laughs> the sharpest dash on one of the most humble Canadians we've ever met. There is no one else who could have accomplished all of these things you have done in one lifetime. How does it feel to, to be honored in this way tonight? Overall, uh, just a, a lovely thing. S some things in life go a little bit too fast, and you hope people are taking pictures and recording it because you need to give yourself time to see what you saw. And today's one of those days. Please welcome to the stage my colleague from outer space. It's a standing ovation for the Colonel, who's presented with the honor by Canada's first female astronaut, Dr. Roberta Bondar. Roberta, for you to be able to present this honor to Commander Hatfield, could you put that into words? It was quite extraordinary to stand on the stage and hear those astronauts. <laughs> <laughs> Very naked ladies. <laughs> yes, the ladies are on hand with a new tune for their longtime friend. Chris Hatfield is his name, and he joins the Walk of Fame. A man of skill and class, not 
just another astronaut. Were you surprised by the performance? Did they pull one over on you? I knew they were here, right? But I didn't know they'd written a song for me, and and so that was, and, and it was such. It's classic ladies as well. The the way the beat goes backwards and the words come around, and that yeah, was perfect. Just another pinch me moment added to his long list of accomplishments. Will you take your granddaughter to see your star? I, I absolutely will. Yeah. Uh, to have a little person call you Gampa <laughs> and, and to look at you and, and to laugh with you and to, to show you again the delight of life, I think, is, is a wonderful thing to be reminded of. Andrea Martin is all about making the most out of life and appreciating special moments along the way. You had said earlier this summer when we spoke to you, you were feeling a little emotional, yeah. anticipating this happening. So how did it feel you know, now that oh, it's here? Uh, Catherine did that long speech and then I got really choked up and I'm like, I, please, I don't want to cry. Dear Andrea, Canada's favorite illegitimate child. <laughs> These nice people want to give you a surprise for being you, so just run with it. You are perfect just the way you are. Honored by longtime friend Catherine O'Hara, Andrea's beyond moved during her acceptance speech. I never thought when I bought those Canadian steak knives 48 years ago for $3.99 that one day I would be the recipient of a Canadian star. I had so much OCD, I'm like, with a stopwatch at home, two, two, yeah, are you kidding? Seven million times. And then people up there just taking their time and talking. <laughs> just when we think we can't laugh anymore, Catherine crashes our interview. Sorry, I've been looking for a coach truck. Uh, He's right here. I'm right here, yes. <laughs> Friends for 40 years, these ladies know almost everything about one another. I didn't even know Andrea just became a citizen finally last year. And that's I didn't a... know she just got an Order of Canada. That, oh, that's so amazing. Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're so popular. <laughs> women supporting women, a big theme in 2018, but this duo have been doing it all along. That is really special, and it's really genuine. I think it's really true. We we have. I'm your biggest fan, and you. And I guess. Yours. See, oh. see that. <laughs> Speaking of, they've got big fans in fellow inductees, Seth and Evan. Catherine O'Hara being up there, and Andrea Martin, like, oh yeah, they inspired us. Like, no, it's true. SCTV, SCTV, SCTV is like is the thing we, we watch like, do when any we were of kids. This. Yeah, John Candy and all those guys. Honestly, Catherine O'Hara to me is like one of the funniest people on the entire planet. And Andrea Martin too, and just seeing them together is like crazy. Up next, inductee Andy Kim gets sentimental. It's overwhelming. But first, Jesse Reyes reflects on her special honor. I thought they got confused. I was like, what for me, for what? I'm honored. That's coming up when eTalk Presents Canada's Walk of Fame continues. Welcome back to eTalk Presents Canada's Walk of Fame. Every year since 2010, the Walk of Fame has been recognizing a young musical talent who's been an inspiration to the next generation. Everyone from Drake and The Weeknd to Shawn Mendes, they've all received this award. This year's Alan Slate honoree is Toronto's Jesse Reyes. To be honored tonight with this with this award and this acknowledgement, that's pretty amazing. That's crazy. How are you feeling? I'm nervous. Yeah? Yeah, which is funny because I thought I wouldn't be. I was like, nice, I'm not performing. I'm, I know what I'm getting. This is great. And then I got here and I saw everyone's speech and I was like, oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but that obviously all went away once you got up there. No. No, it stayed. It stays. <laughs> it stays. It's, 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 this is residual nerves right here. <laughs> Thank you, Canada, for welcoming my Colombian family. Thank you to Toronto specifically because it's here where I feel comfortable to be myself. Also from the six, musician, friend, and mentor Julie Black, who's on hand to present. I made a pact when I met her many, many years ago that I'm going to be to her what many weren't for me and to me. You know, I needed somebody to open a door for me and to let me say, you know, to let me know what it's going to be like. That's my role and my responsibility as her big sister. Julie Black was up there. Like, she's what did the it best. mean to have have her there to, meant, to present this to you? It meant a lot. She's mm -hmm. the best. She's, a, she's like a friend. She's a very strong woman, a really dope role model. And Jessie's got some famous fans of her own, including inductee Andy Kim. What do you make of the likes of Jessie Reyes? And I really think that she's an old soul. And I think so many people of her generation can learn a lot by, by the path that she has taken. Andy knows all about taking the right path. 50 years in the biz, and he's thankful for every moment. Sugar! What a way to end that show. It's really a surreal moment. I, don't, I have no idea what went on. I'll know tomorrow sometime. 
Shooting to the top of the charts in 1969, his smash hit Sugar Sugar has proven to stand the test of time. And it's Maestro, Divine Brown, and Julie Black taking on the classic this time around. And a few people were remarking that Sugar Sugar is a song that can be sung in almost any genre. Mm -hmm. My favorite version is the Archie version. But then Wilson Pickett had a top 10 record with it. Homer Simpson comes to mind as someone <laughs> yes. who really kind of put a stamp on it. Yes. You are my candy girl, and you got me wanting. I'm always amazed that a song that I'm a part of even gets heard, let alone becomes historic. After all these years, Andy is still as grounded as they come, a true inspiration. To be able to, to perform tonight for him and his induction, what was that like? I feel like I was doing it for my mom. Yeah. You know, uh, my mom passed away a year ago, but she, she loves some, she loves some sugar, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> my dad, and it's just generational, and just to, to be able to sing that, a song that was played in my household, mm -hmm. is special, very, very special. Coming up, our Talk the Walk trivia challenge. I mean, it sounds believable. It sounds Why, why would they no, make that up? No, true. Oh, true. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But first, the stars pay tribute to a legend. We were definitely humbled to be asked to perform tonight. That's next when eTalk Presents Canada's Walk of Fame returns. Welcome back to eTalk Presents Canada's Walk of Fame. The late, great Leonard Cohen is one of our country's most beloved singer-songwriters. This year, he's receiving a posthumous induction onto Canada's Walk of Fame, and his family and peers are here to pay tribute. Like a bird on a way. Sarah McLaughlin, the tenors, remembering a legend. Hallelujah. Leonard's daughter Lorca travels from LA to accept the award on her late dad's behalf. So it seems fitting today to have him memorialized in the streets of Toronto. He'd be happy to join them. He'd be honored. So thank you. It was beautiful. What did it mean to be up there to perform that music that means so much to so many people? Well, it was a great honor, obviously, and to be in such fantastic company was wonderful. I mean, that song, Hallelujah, is one of the most inspirational songs ever written by a Canadian. Or anybody for that. Or anybody. Yeah. True. <laughs> we are very proud that it uh, came from Canada. When we were asked to do it, it was like, wow, really? We got to meet him once, and... Uh, what a gentle man. And everything that came out of his mouth was like poetry. It was yeah. unreal. And it's Leonard's hit song that helped put the tenors on the map. That song's been a calling card for us around the world. It's a bit of a lucky charm for us. Well, and you did a nice job with it. Well, thank you very much. I imagine a pretty pinch me moment to be able to pay tribute to them in this way tonight. We were definitely humbled to be asked to perform tonight and honor such a legend. You know, what a creative visionary uh, Leonard was, and not just a songwriter, but an author and a poet. And just so uh, thrilled to be here. Welcome back to eTalk Presents Canada's Walk of Fame. Do the little things well and the big things will follow. Inductee Jimmy Pattison inspiring a nation. Often referred to as the Canadian Warren Buffett, the two actually go way back. And the real Warren, along with Paul Anka, made a special trip to surprise his dear friend. Jimmy, you are our shining star. On a scale of one to 10, how surprised were you when this gentleman <laughs> came out and serenaded you? 11. <laughs> Warren Buffett is the businessman and investor in the whole world. There's nobody better. And to have him come up here uh, all this way, Warren, I can't thank you enough. How did Warren Buffett do performing tonight? I was quite in impressed. Your you should have heard him at Soundcheck. He was doing check one million, two million. <laughs> yes, with a sense of humor and his singing chops, Mr. Buffett tells us making the trek to help honor Jimmy was a no-brainer. Paul hadn't finished the sentence when I said yes, when he, when he said, Jimmy, <laughs> it's going to be for Jimmy. Uh, before he got it finished, I said, I'll be there. Uh, I've also had to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> At every award show, Etox Backstage Lounge is the place to be, and this one's no exception. That's right. This year, we're putting the stars to the ultimate test with our Walk of Fame Trivia Challenge, Talk the Walk. 
You know at E-Talk, we love a good game. In order to eat your cookie, you've got to lift it up first and answer a trivia okay. question. Evan has a gluten aversion. Okay, good. Not an aversion. An allergy. You're okay. It's a real allergy. <laughs> not an LA diet thing. It's an aversion. I just want the cookie. Are these wheat cookies? Are those edible? They're edible, not edibles. We're saying if you get it right, then you get to eat the cookie. But in your case, I feed Seth the cookie. There we go. Is Russell oh. Peters still waiting for his star? True or false? No, he got one in he 2011. Got one in yeah, he got one. Russell Peters got a star seven years before we did. Captain O'Hara's star is next. The Lloyd Robertson and Gordon Pinson stars. True or false? I mean, it sounds believable. It sounds Why would no, they make that up? No. False. Sorry, it's true. Yeah. So you can't eat that. Uh, I'm kidding. You can eat the cookie. <laughs> I'm going to say true. True. False. True. Yeah. Brian Adams was one of the... Hi, how are you? Brian Adams was one of the first... Inductees back in... 1998. True or false? First of all, I had no clue this has been going on for 20 years. Yeah. 20 years. I thought it was 10 years old. <laughs> and that you were one of the, and that you were the first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say true. True. Yes. Yes. Oh, I know Brian. Right, You're like a former friend. Brian Adams is already legendary. First true. Guys, yeah, well done. First year. It's true. Go for Tessa. Sarah McLaughlin was inducted the same year as Randy Bachman and Burton Cummings. True or false? Hold on. Let me ask Jesus. <laughs> That's false. That's false? Yeah. I trust my partner on that. That's, that's false. I'm going to say false. False. You got it. I'm going to say false. You're right. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> How do you say anything after that? Yeah, we're done. That's it. My job. Good night. <laughs> Welcome back, and it has been an honor celebrating with this year's tremendous inductees. Absolutely, and you'll definitely want to tune in to see the full show. Canada's Walk of Fame Awards 2018 airs Sunday, December 9th at 9 p.m. on CTV. Good night.